It's the job that almost no one wanted. Uh, and for that reason, the job is going to the only person who actually wants to take it. This segment is brought to you by Eastside Weight Loss Clinic. Sick of fad diets that work for a couple months and then you gain all the weight back? Well, I'm down 37 pounds on the Eastside Weight Loss Clinic program and I've kept that weight off for more than a year. Schedule your free 15 minute consultation today at eastsideweightlossclinic.com. Imagine wanting to work for a completely discombobulated, failing, bloated government entity that is absolutely falling short of its core mission, which is to end homelessness in King County. The King County Regional Homelessness Authority has been a debacle from the start. Their first CEO ended up resigning. You know, it was so poorly managed. I think the writing was on the wall. They weren't even getting payments out to contractors. And we know that since the inception of the King County Regional Homelessness Authority, which had promised us as part of Partnership for Zero, that we would have virtually no homeless in downtown Seattle by now. That's interesting, because I was just down there the other day, and I can tell you there are absolutely homeless people there. Um, since the inception of the King County Regional Homelessness Authority, homelessness has increased 23%. So yeah, this is what happens when you just dump millions of dollars into the homeless industrial complex to pay a bunch of people fat six-figure salaries, and they have no incentive to actually solve the underlying issue. But King County presses forward with it, and they need, of course, a new CEO, because the old one, Mark Downs, said, see ya. So here's the thing. They decided to pick the only person who actually wanted the job. This is the headline from the Puget Sound Business Journal. She took the job few other wa others wanted. King County Homelessness Authority CEO. Yeah, none of, no others wanted. <laughs> no others wanted. Uh, King County Regional Homelessness Authority said uh, in a statement about their decision to hire Dr. Kinnison. We are confident that Dr. Kinnison is the most qualified and capable candidate to lead the King County Regional Homelessness Authority and bring stability, continuity, and vision to the organization. That's interesting. You're confident that she's the most qualified and capable, or are you confident that she was the only person left who wanted the job? Because they did this whole nationwide search, they had three finalists, and the other two dropped out. The other two said, no thanks. This is clearly a disaster. So they were only left with one person and now they're trying to sell it to us as, well, that's the most qualified and capable person. No, it was more process of elimination. This from our friends at the Center Square. King County Homeless Agency close to hiring lone candidate for CEO role. There's been a conditional offer, but basically it's going to turn into employment. The Homeless Authority's Implementation Board voted 7-2 to two in favor of recommending Kelly Kinnison to be the agency's first permanent CEO since Mark Doan stepped down from the role in May of 2023. Kinnison is based out of Washington, D.C., where she is currently the Director of Family and Community Policy at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. In this role, Kinnison oversees the development of legislative proposals and policy on employment and economic mobility, refugee resettlement, housing, and homelessness. Since Stone's left, the Regional Homelessness Authority has had two interim CEOs, including Daryl Powell, who recently withdrew his candidacy from the permanent CEO search because he does not believe the agency is in a position to make strides in helping homeless people in King County, as previously reported by the Center Square. Powell said, quote, significant governance changes and personnel changes would be needed to achieve that agency's potential. So here you have a guy who was in the temporary role and decided, that although he made the final three for consideration to be CEO, he didn't want the job because he knew that he could do his best and it would still be a failure because the agency is inherently structured to be a failure. I do want to know, and I had agreed with this when I saw it, Kathy Moore, who's one of the newest council members, one of the more moderates who came in with a little bit of sanity, she had called a couple weeks ago for them to suspend the process of hiring a new CEO. Because she said, are we really choosing a new CEO when we're only left with one choice? She had put out a press release. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But she said, uh, I, after the two dropped out, she said, it is clear that the search committee must take time to reassess. She was calling for it to be halted. She said, I appreciate the time and candor of each of the candidates. However, when two out of the three finalists you're interviewing withdraw their candidacy in close succession, it's clear there's a larger problem. Given the myriad of challenges facing the agency, it's imperative that we make the best hiring decision. We cannot afford to have our choice made by default. 
To ensure we're best positioned to recruit and hire the right batch for this critical leadership position, we must first get our house in order. It's the only way we can ensure the authority has a chance to succeed. Well, that's a little bit of common sense for you. I mean, you really are that desperate as opposed to just continuing on with some inter... First of all, it needs to be disbanded. That, that's my position on it. And I actually think that's a growingly popular position because across the ideological spectrum, there's been a realization that the authority has been a failure. It was promised really as the end all be all. Like this is what is going to get us out of this homeless crisis. So now a couple years later, and you see a worse homelessness crisis than ever before being made worse by the influx of asylum seekers who have no place to go, so they're camping in parks. This clearly is not working. It is not going to work unless you want to overhaul it in its entirety. And so any executive level person who isn't lying on their resume ought to realize that that might not be the best career decision for them unless they're just eternally desperate for a job. So employment by process of elimination, isn't that nice?